Welcome to the Southern Branch of the National Palace Museum. The Southern Branch Museum was built on a 70 hectare field where sugarcane used to be grown. Architect Chris Yao used three brush strokes utilized in Chinese ink painting, Nong Wu, Fei Bai, and Xuan Ran, in designing this piece of architecture on the Jianan Plain. Upon entering the parking lot, the first sight that draws your attention is the exquisite Jimei Bridge, also the public art. After entering the second floor of the Southern Branch, please collect your group tour guide equipment, a tour guide transmitter and tour headsets. An individual visitor can rent a personal audio device for a description of the museum's collections. For collection preservation, the museum temperature is set to be around 20 degrees Celsius, so please wrap up warmly. Please leave your food and drinks on the bus. Please leave oversized baggage on the bus or stored in the museum lockers. Light can damage the artifacts. Remember to turn off the flash on your cell phone before taking photos. Please keep your cell phone in silent mode. We would like to ensure that every visitor enjoys a quality visit. There are 10 galleries in the Southern Branch exhibiting world treasures including pottery, porcelain, bronzes, paintings, calligraphy, jadeware, rare curios, historical documents, and textiles rarely seen. Famous antiquities will be rotated and displayed in the exhibition called Our Beloved Treasures. You are invited to appreciate the brilliance of the antiques, which transcend time and space. Imprints of Buddhas, the Buddhist art in the National Palace Museum collection. This is an exhibition of Asian Buddhist statues and sutras in appreciation of the Buddhist art, which was created over a time span of 1700 years. A statue of Bodhisattva Maitreya from ancient Gandhara and the Kangxi manuscript Kangnur in Tibetan script are must-see items. The statue of this Bodhisattva Maitreya from the Kusana dynasty has defined Western facial features, wavy shoulder-length hair, and its strapping figure shows that ancient Afghanistan was strongly influenced by European art. The Kangxi manuscript Kangyur, prepared by 171 Tibetan lamas, took almost two years. A total of 1,057 sutras in the manuscripts were written in gold ink and were inlaid with 14,000 gems in five colors and 1,782 tales of gold. The curio boxes of Emperor Qianlong exhibition can be regarded as an unboxing and reassembling of the curio boxes in the Imperial Collection ordered by Emperor Qianlong. The design of the curio boxes reveals the most excellent artist storage in the world. Dozai was a breakthrough technique for porcelain making in the Ming Dynasty. A Dozai chicken cup was once sold at an auction for a record 36 million US dollars. The Ru ware produced wares for the imperial court during the Northern Song Dynasty. This item, Narcissus Basin in bluish-green glaze, is known as the only Ru ware without any crackle or cracks to its glaze. Such treasure is described as a morning star, which is extremely rare. The far-reaching fragrance of tea, the art and culture of tea in Asia. An exhibition of different tea cultures from Tong Song to Ming Qing dynasties. The Doli Wan was a typical teacup style in the Song dynasty. It has a sharply short foot, which looks like an upside down conical hat. At the time, a saucer was best suited to a Doli Wan. This ewer for yak butter tea is a cloisonne enamel Duomu ewer from the imperial court in the Qing dynasty. The technique to make cloisonne enamel is to first add compartments to the surface by soldering thin stripes made of silver or gold wires at the edges to separate the different sections on the enamel and then fill in the cloisonne colors. Landscapes and human figures are painted with enamel on the portals of this piece, which turn the surface into a beautiful scene. Many wonderful collections will be rotated and exhibited in the Southern Branch Museum, such as a space for brush and ink, appreciating paintings and calligraphy in the National Palace Museum. 
and textile exhibitions. Paintings, calligraphy, and textiles can only be displayed for a maximum of three months and then must be kept in the warehouse for preservation in compliance with the rules of the National Palace Museum. If you miss out on an exhibition, you may need to wait at least two years for another opportunity to see it. The audience can interact with world-renowned artworks by experiencing the rich array of the digital archives, which combine art, technology, and new media. After visiting the exhibitions, you are welcome to visit the museum shops and post office on the first floor for gift shopping. The museum cafe and outdoor dining area are places for people to have lunch or light meals. The Children's Creative Center is located on the first floor. It offers 340 square meters of learning space. Through the multimedia interactive installations, hands-on exhibits and games using AR and VR, children are encouraged to learn with their five senses. There are many outdoor recreational facilities outside the Children's Creative Center. A sand pit, a water play area, and a giant slide. After exiting the museum, you might stroll around outside and take some pictures of beautiful views. Don't forget to share the beauty of the Southern Branch with your families and friends. If you would like to learn more about the exhibitions, please search the Southern Branch of the National Palace Museum on Facebook. Or you can search NPM South on Instagram. Then follow us you'll be able to see the newest exhibition information. Finally, the Southern Branch of the National Palace Museum would like to wish you a wonderful journey.